globe. Um, but I tried to record it. I don't know if it came out or not. But man, I got sparks coming out my spout back there. You might not be able to see it. But uh, those sparks coming out means I got a knife that's pulled a little bit. And what that means is that it's hitting the anvil strip in there. And it's just dinging a little bit. When it's pulled, it means it's out of place. And actually pulled out of the spot it's supposed to be in. Therefore, it is hitting the piece of steel that's supposed to cut the wood off. Where it uh, holds the wood in place, the knives can chop it off. It's supposed to be really, 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 really close. And when a knife pulls, it hits against that piece of steel. I think I did a video on it. Anyways, it just makes a thud, 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 thud sound when it's at idle, but when it's wrapped up and there's wood going through it, you can't hear it because there's too much other chaos going on. So right now I can't see because I tried to make that video and I got dust all in my face. Bad. It's really difficult and really nasty back there. Because your fan for your little motor, or big motor, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can show it. See it way back there? All that dust comes out of that fan there a little bit. And that fan blows it back towards the chip fan. Because the air is blowing from left to right through the radiator. So when you were standing where I was standing trying to record that video, all that stuff's hitting you like right in the face. So, I won't be able to see tonight, but that's okay. What do you do? Anywho, so I gotta fix that. And I was hoping, I was just hoping to get this whole job done before I had to change it again. But I don't know how much wood's left out there, but it might be. One more load or I might have it all wrapped up. I don't know, I'll probably be a little left and I'll have to uh, swap knives and do all that. But they actually last pretty long on this job, so I can't complain about my knives. Work pretty good. But it looks pretty interesting after dark. When you got sparks thrown into your van. It's called a hot load. Hopefully I'll make it. So he came back. We're getting him loaded up. No big deal. We'll get him out of here. Get this job done, hopefully. Every load gets us one more load closer to being done. So we'll be slipping on back down the road. I don't even know where we're headed next. Don't even know where. This job was only 16 acres uh, of cut. And we had to come get it done, so we got it done. Uh, some people wonder, don't need that. Some people wonder, Matt just commented, Langford just commented. What's our average job acre per acreage? It varies. They haven't been that big lately. I know we have an 80 coming up, I believe. And so it, it, it varies from job to job. But, I mean, some jobs say you're stuck on 80s or 100 or 120 and you get big jobs and then you get a bunch of small jobs. So you just never know what's going to happen. You're loaded there, Josh. You got mixed hardwood.
Copy that. Thanks. Yeah, that's his trip. Oh, I got that dust in my nose. I can't breathe. I know, I'm whining. I'll quit. I'm done. But, that's doing a little chipping after after daylight hours. Winter hours, you know? You know how that goes. You got about 10 hours of daylight. That's about it. But, we'll get through. One truck at a time. He'll be on down the road. Oh man. Heading home. Had another good day today. Had a good day yesterday, a good day today. And we're gonna have to move tomorrow. That'll slow. When we gotta move, it just slows everything down. If you could just hook up to this girl, move it on down the road, it wouldn't be that bad. But it seems like it just takes time. It just takes time. So when it comes to moving it, you know, folding it up, it don't take that long. But by the time you get a truck in here, you get it underneath there. If it gets stuck, which it usually does, um, you know, the time you're pushing and pulling, get it to the road, flag it up, throw your banners on it, get it moving, you know. Get it to the next job, then you got to have a skitter there, the dozer's there. But, you know, you got to get the equipment moved, you got to get the slasher, both skitters. Time you do all that, it just, man, it's hard, hard to keep good days rolling when you got to move. Especially this week when you got to move twice in one week. But I think, I think, I think, I think we'll make a good week out of it anyway. So we had a couple good days. A couple slow days. Monday and Tuesday was slow. And like I always say, you just try to, you just try to get through those bad days. And hopefully the good days outweigh them. You know what I mean? So that's all you can do is keep rolling, guys. Just wake up, hit it hard again the next day. Hopefully they'll have a better day than the day before. So, anyways, that's me doing a little chipping after dark. Got a crap in my face and in my nose. I can't breathe. I want to go blow my nose. Um, I'm done whining because I'm going to get comments of, oh, you're a crybaby. I know, I know, I know. So, you guys have a wonderful night or day, whenever, whatever, whatever time you're watching this and wherever you're watching it from, whether it be here or some other wonderful country, you know. Uh, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thanks so much for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. And I really do. Thank you so much. He shut his lights off. Hey, there they are. He's messing with me. Oh, no. Hey, here he comes. Oh, that was Josh. In there with a big grin on his face. Got a big old bundle of popple on there. I love to watch that. Man, that's the coolest thing ever. Look at the woods, it's beautiful. Just flat out beautiful. The Cat 535D. Coming at you. Central Michigan. And he drops his bundle. <laughs> See what I gotta deal with? See what I gotta deal with? He just said hi. That was him saying hi. No, but check this out. Let me show you what almost just happened. So I was, I was sneaking around back here because I try to get a video for you guys of them skidding and then they do stuff like that so I was trying to sneak around and I'm hiding behind a little tree that I mean hello they can see me but so I was gonna take off running up in, in, into these woods right here and just when I took off to run I seen this 
somehow I seen it. You see that barbed wire fence right there? I almost ran right into that. Now, I'll give you a story while I'm walking back to the truck. I was probably eight years old and we do go Christmas caroling every year, right? And my brother Dan remembers, my brother Dan remembers the story because it was me and him. The guy that went hunting with me there. And uh, we're doing this Christmas caroling. I remember the house, I remember everything. <laughs> And uh, I said, let's race to the truck. Now, he's a few years older than me, so we take off running, right? Didn't know that there was a barbed wire fence. And me being a little guy, I caught it in my neck and in my nose. Uh, I'll try to, I got it, right? Here I got a cut, I got a scar right here. And I got a scar right here in my nose where that barbed wire fence caught me. Well, it was cold enough, I really didn't think of it. And I got in the car, I don't remember who it was, maybe Dan remembers. Somebody was like, what happened to your face? I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, I ran into that barbed wire fence. I was bleeding all over. <laughs> well, my brother Dan's older, like I said, so I hit him right in the chest, so it didn't really phase him at all, but it caught me right in the face, so. There's a barbed wire fence story for you, because it almost, it wouldn't hit me in the face, but it would have toppled me over, that's for sure. But I, I hope you can see my face, because I can't see anything on the ground. So I'm going to shut everything off, because I'm going to fall here real quick. And uh, I'm not doing a face plant with a bunch of sticks. So anyways, thanks guys. That's better. See? Look at what I'm walking over. See? That would have been real nice.